All right, guys, so I had to edit and re-upload this video because I did not thoroughly uh, make sure that everything in it uh, was YouTube friendly. So I apologize to those who may have seen portions of this video already. Um, I just had to go back and edit it and re-upload it to make sure everything was good to go. All right, guys, so if you haven't heard, <laughs> Miami has basically been torn apart, right? by spring breakers so-called spring breakers in my opinion these are not spring breakers these are individuals with stimulus checks right? that's, what's really, that's what's really going on here okay because all the videos that i'm seeing are you know a large amount of people that are out here you know party in miami and are basically turning up way too much turning up to the point guys where i'm seeing street fights of people you know beating each other down in the streets guys beating each other down i'm seeing employees at bars run out of the bar to chase people who walked out of the bars refusing to pay right that's how you know the type of crowd that is down there in miami doing this right not just from the videos but also from the fact that you know you have reports of People refusing to pay their bills, refusing to pay their bar tabs, just walking out, just completely uh, going against the whole point of the stimulus check in the first place, which is to stimulate the economy, right? And I don't really have an issue with people going down there and spending their money on spring break because, quite honestly, hey, I want to give my boy uh, Ron DeSantis the revenue, right? And the whole point of the stimulus is to stimulate the economy even anyways even though i don't believe it's a smart use of your money right i put my stimulus in my roth ira and i would encourage anybody else who you know doesn't need their stimulus check to <laughs> invest it or save it in some way that's hey i'm just saying but see uh when you've probably blown all your stimulus on <laughs> you know a spirit airlines flight nice uh clothes right and all the other stuff that people tend to buy with their money uh by the time you get down there you, your stimulus check probably blow and if you're skipping out on bar tabs and not paying uh for the establishments that you're at then again that defeats the point of the stimulus right at that point you're not stimulating the economy anymore you're taking away from the economy but uh it got really bad right and i want you guys to uh see the news coverage of this because they had to issue a crackdown and a curfew in order to stop the madness take a look tonight a state of emergency in miami beach <laughs> massive crowds defying an 8 p.m curfew skip that curfew we all here <laughs> we all here no sleep here. police moving in shooting pepper balls to break up the mostly maskless sea of people this car set on fire quite frankly i'm concerned that the behavior is getting uh it's getting a little bit more for uh, us to be able to handle more than a thousand people arrested since the start of spring break some businesses like the popular clevelander deciding to temporarily close over safety concerns miami beach residents are frustrated 90 percent of these kids are good kids you know they just want to have a good time but um when you get a lot of people together and too much alcohol it's you know it's a problem late today city leaders holding an emergency meeting it has certainly felt like our city has been a a tinder over the last few weeks i have uh personally had trouble even sleeping at night worrying all right guys so in reaction to this of course the race car was pulled okay and i just want you guys to understand before i get into this there are videos of people beating each other down in the streets right you have people beating each other down in bikinis and you know no clothes on you got naked women running around here just basically beating each other up right and you know what the black leadership does? Instead of calling it what it is, right? Which is a, a, a crowd of unruly uh, <laughs> individuals who uh, need to be sent back home, right? Uh, who are behaving improperly. And all, again, if you're involved in that, probably should do some jail time. Instead of calling it what it is, they say that the reaction to this curfew and crackdown is quote unnecessary force okay so let's read a little bit more about this after weeks of uninhibited partying on south beach by spring breakers police turned away thongs of people many of them black 
from world famous Ocean Drive with a SWAT truck, pepper balls, and sound cannons. The tactics were intended to enforce an 8 p.m. curfew announced only hours earlier on Saturday to rid the city of what police and politicians have described as unruly and sometimes violent late night crowds. And the tactics appeared to have the desired effect. By mid evening, police tweeted out a picture of an empty mid interception at Ocean Drive in 8th Street. But the use of force to clear out people of color from uh, South Beach alarmed some black leaders. And, and if Miami Beach has openly recorded behavior of at times cha chaotic crowd filling the streets entertainment district every weekend, some in South Beach are having a similar reaction to the way the city and its police have handled the presence of thousands of people of color. Listen to the framing on this. Quote, I am very disappointed, Stephen Hunter uh, Johnson, chairman of Miami Dade's Black Affairs Advisory Committee, said Sunday morning, quote, I think when there young black people on South Beach, the response is, oh my God, we have to do something. Videos on social media show Miami Beach uh, police arriving on Ocean Drive Saturday evening to find a massive crowd still on the street after the curfew kicked in. Videos also show officers turning on their sirens and at one point firing pepper balls into a crowd sending people scrambling. At a special meeting on Sunday, Miami Beach City Commissioners ex extended the Thursday through Sunday curfew and causeway closures through April 12th. Glendon Hall, the chairman of Miami Beach's newly formed Black Affairs Advisory Committee, said he was on Ocean Drive at the time helping, quote, goodwill ambassadors guide the crowd off the street but did not see what led police to use pepper balls. The ambassadors are city employees who hand out masks and help tourists. Before the dispersal, he said the crowd was peaceful. Then a Coral Gable SWAT truck drove nearby and tensions rose. The pepper ball shot set off a panic and the crowd rushed the street. Hall took cover behind a tree quote the truck showed up and nobody knew why the truck was there he said when we tried to calm things down that hyped things up so basically the rest of this article details how the police are like you know we didn't use excessive use of force we actually uh waited we were very patient we didn't just pepper spray people to break up crowds or anything like that we only used force when it was necessary um and they're basically defending themselves okay so this article just kind of outlines you know how once again after everybody with two eyes can see what's going on and who's in the wrong here and that these people didn't come here with the intention of following the law uh once again you have black leaders trying to defend this and trying to act like police are the bad people in this situation and, and it's really a damn shame and like i said guys if you watch any of those videos right of those late night fights the things that were going on do in that city no reasonable person could sit here and say that the police use of force is not justified right because the amount of violence that was going on in that city at the time definitely called for a SWAT team to be there right it called for police to use a little bit more force than they normally would right and I'm so sick and tired of this narrative every single time you know, you have a situation like this where obviously the people that are doing it are in the wrong. Obviously, the people that are there are tearing up the city. And then as soon as the police do something, oh, my God, you're, you're handling people the wrong way. I'm like, man, how can you watch something like that and you try to excuse the behavior? And, and this is why, you know, when shootings happen and things happen and when police do actually use excessive force, this is why a lot of it falls on deaf ears because everybody want to try to pull the race card when it's not even necessary to pull the race card, right? In a situation like this, police was hundred percent justified, right? Anybody that saw what was going on. Okay. And this right here also is a good time to talk about culture. Okay. Cause a lot of people say this is a culture problem, right? And I'm gonna be very careful because I, I, I do want to differentiate here right as a black person right because a lot some of you a lot of you are probably black that's watching this okay i'll, I'll hope this i'll hope that i'll have quite a bit of black people watching me right you're probably looking at this and like that's not us right we don't act like that we know the type of people that 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 is right i've been to miami i've had fun in miami i've got very lit in miami and none of this happened right i i would never be in the streets fighting people you know tearing up bars tearing up businesses 
uh, th that's not what happens, right? Obviously, they're normal people who can go to Miami, can have fun, can support the economy, and can do the right thing, right? They flew in on Spirit Airlines, right? <laughs> and they went down there with their stimulus checks uh, for, the, <laughs> for the sole reason of trying to turn up and be hood rich, okay? And uh, that right there is a culture issue, right? Those people have a culture issue. Right. And I, I, again, for the black people that wouldn't do that, for us that, you know, know that that's wrong, that know that, you know, this is unexcusable, that are appalled by this behavior. We, that's not us. <laughs> we, we, we not for that. We, we don't act that way. We not, we don't condone that. But, you know, those are the type of people, right, that probably think that uh, Cardi B is a good role model, right, and that Candace Owens is a black white supremacist and gets mad when she says mean things that are true and that you know conservatives are racist and that black conservatives are uh are sellouts and uncle tom but see in the mind of the black conservative that behavior right there is sellout behavior because you've sold out all the black people who don't condone that type of stuff right and you make it worse for us you create stereotypes about black people that are negative that impact all black people okay black people who believe in following the law right black people who believe in supporting their local communities supporting the economy paying for goods and services services you give black people like that a bad name those are your sellouts guys those are your sellouts those are the people that don't care about the black community and then make it harder for everybody else. Those are the people that's promoting the systemic racism. That's the truth. All that systemic racism y'all love to talk about. Those are the people that's, 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 that's promoting it. They're making it worse. Cause you know what a lot of people are thinking when they watch that people are simple, bro. People are very simple. They see something and they make judgments. That That's how people work. That's how the world works. You got to navigate a world like that. So if you don't want to be judged that way, right? If you don't want black people to be judged that way, then we should start holding these people accountable. This type of behavior has to be condemned. And these black leaders who go out here and try to deflect the blame and put it on police who have to handle this type of stuff are part of the problem. Black leadership needs to step up and call out the BS when it's BS, right? Because if you condone this type of behavior, the only thing it's going to do is going to lead to more police brutality. It's going to lead to more people losing their lives. Because you're telling people that it's okay to do this. You're not speaking out against those who are robbing these small businesses. Who are, you know, uh, destroying this city. Who are uh, causing problems for local residents. You, you don't speak out against that. You speak out against the police. When the whole world is watching and seeing what's going on, it, it really makes us look silly, right? It looks like it makes us look like we're not living in the reality of what black America is sometimes. And again, I'm not trying to say that it defines all of black America because a lot of people, you know, again, be like, yo, that's not me. We don't do that. And I'm, I'm in that boat. I'm one of those people. But I do acknowledge that this is a problem. And this incident in miami is just a part of the problem and it's something that has to be condemned you can't keep pulling a race card every single time police use force against people it's justified they're tearing up the city the police had hey they did what they had to do lucky that the police didn't do more they're lucky that the police didn't do more if you don't want to have interactions with the police like this then don't act up there's no excuses for it it's really that simple guys so let me know what you guys think about this. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.